Some students in Northern Arizona University's creative writing program recently took part in an experiment of sorts, one which had favorable results, and landed the students on the big screen. To cleanse myself, I go to confession. I tell the father, I'm not Catholic, but I still drink too much. And I stare at the girls and wonder what they'd be like standing in my kitchen. Randolph Brooks is a creative writer who's just finished up his undergraduate degree in English at Northern Arizona University, and he's planning to start the graduate department's creative writing program. He's one of a handful of students who participated in this documentary on spoken word, which recently debuted on campus to a full house. Brooks said he really liked the idea of participating in this creative process with student filmmakers. If a, if a director, if a filmmaker has certain poets read their poetry and then chooses to juxtapose that poetry with bits and pieces of, of, of media, I think it's an awesome way to make poetry more accessible to the common person. Later that night, as I sit alone with the lights out at our kitchen table, I notice the quartered green gauge plums that you've left for me, right next to your note which reads, I'm leaving, and I hope that news of your misery comes quickly like a message in a bottle thrown into your bathtub. The documentary was created by electronic media and film students Cedric Owens and Vern Richardson with NAU Television Services production director Jesse Vaughn an Emmy Award-winning director. The project was a wonderful opportunity for partnership, says the director of NAU's creative writing program, Nicole Walker one great ex part of the experience was just working for me, working across disciplines. I don't think there's that many opportunities to work this collaboratively. And as a poet and a teacher, you know, I really work alone most of the time. And I appreciate so much the invitation to work with, you know, Jesse and Cedric and Vernon and with the poets and, you know, the other videographers and just everybody who participated in this. Poetry's job is to make you think that it's working within one sort of category and that surprise you by leaping into another category. Um, the poem that begins think, see, seeming to be about an individual experience, the moment it can leap and transcend into a universal experience is the moment that poetry is really happening. Walker says she appreciated the creative sparks in the documentary making process and she praises the filmmakers for successfully combining several mediums including old public domain footage, a move she calls risky. So the, the audience is dislocated and and a little bit like I've never seen anything like this. But the way it all comes together and this sort of there's this uncanniness about the whole project, like that you say, this is working, this is resonating in ways po the poems by themselves wouldn't, and the film by itself wouldn't, and the music by itself wouldn't. And nothing no one thing is primary over another. Uh, which is just it's just a beautifully uh, emblematic to me of what creativity is. Um, bringing together of surprising ele elements and letting them resonate across uh, and to each other. And you run, a, like I said, you run a risk of, of one of the things drowning out the others. And in this case, everything seems exactly evenly balanced. I am, I will be no different, no different than me. Several people who participated in this documentary say they wanted to highlight the art of poetry which is sometimes overlooked in society. Um, it's, a, it's a great medium in that it, it, it tells a whole lot in very little. Um, there's a great deal of compression of language, um, which you don't see in a lot of other um, literary forms. Um, and that, if you're patient and you're willing to digest a poem, uh, can be really fulfilling to the reader. Um, because there's so much to be said in, in so few words. Check it out. Brooks believes many students could benefit from taking creative writing classes because they offer a form of expression and what he calls a way to purge oneself of the stresses of life. And in Nicole Walker's poetry classes, students have the opportunity to read a lot of poetry so they can see how many themes in their own writing mirror themes from poems written hundreds of years ago. Walker says she also likes presenting material in unique ways, including this documentary project, 
so students can have fun while learning to incorporate contemporary images into poetry.